Have you ever wondered what is the best or the most appropriate speed to shoot your 0.22 pellets in? Well, today we're going to try and test that for you. I've got my FX Impact Mark II set up specifically for pellets, not for slugs, for pellets. And I'm going to run these pellets anywhere between about 750 feet per second all the way up to 940 feet per second. So I've got six different power settings and that's what I'm going to use. Obviously harmonics will play a role, but that will give me a very, very good indication of approximately where I need to tune my gun to get the best out of which pellets. So I've got the H&Ns here, the JSBs, I've got the Air Arms here, and I've also got the whole range of H&N hunting pallets as well, because I think that is going to be an interesting one as well. So stay tuned, and I'll give you guys the results just now. Let's start off with the JSBs. These are the 18.13 grains, exact jumbo heavy Diabolo, or Diablo, or however you want to call that, you Spanish little sexy thing. Oops, Diabolo is not Spanish. It's actually English. It means spinning. Right, gonna start off with my minimum setting, then turn the power wheel. So I'm not gonna adjust the regulator at all. The regulator is just perfect, run about 90 bar. And I'm gonna shoot each of them five shots into my target up front. And I'll show you guys as we go along, as well as my trusty little crony here with me. Let's do this. Alright, um, from that perspective, these JSBs are absolutely super, super, super accurate. If I look at that, um, I've got some extremely good groupings on my uh, fourth power setting and also on my maximum power setting. Um, let's go and measure up and give you guys the results. Easy peasy. If I look at the optimum speed, I must say that the 915 feet per second hands down wins it but anything from 805 feet per second all the way up to 915 feet per second they just group immaculate sticking with the 18 grainers we're now going to shoot the H&Ns Barracuda 18s and these are the 5.52s and we're going to shoot them as well from minimum power all the way to max let's go for it Those three, that's probably me, over eager. Let's go measure up, give you guys the results. Oh wow, wow and wow. The Barracuda 18 grainers met all my expectations. Right through from 827 feet per second all the way up to 921. Just have a look at that last grouping at 921. The first five shots was dead center. It's shot number six and shot number eight that I had slightly high and slightly low. Overall, wow, that's nice. 900 feet per second, 921, that's the speed you need to chase these babies. Let's have a look at the air arms, 18 grainers, exactly the same exercise. interesting at the power setting five one hole like in literally one hole I'll have to show you guys the proof on that one because if I show you the picture you're gonna think it's only one shot but there's actually five shots through that hole let's go measure up give you guys the results I'm speechless that's all I'm gonna say it's the first time that I could not measure a hole because the center to center is zero. There's nothing to measure. 
and that was at 900 feet per second. The 856 feet per second were about 2 millimeters center to center. Again, one of those things that you don't really want to measure. It speaks for themselves. So, to sum up, anything from 850 feet per second all the way up to 912. One holing. It got boring after a while, but that is my best ever grouping at 30 meters with a 5.5. One up for the air arms on this one. You beauties. Time for the Barracuda matches in 21.14 grain. Yes, they are going to run slower out of this gun, but I set up the gun. I'm not going to change the gun just for a single pallet. I'd rather set up the gun for to have the majority of the pallet shoot at a decent speed. But let's see what he does. Laser, laser, laser. I absolutely love that. At around about 875 feet per second on the maximum power, that is a pretty decent speed for these Barracuda matches in 21 grain. Let's measure up, give you guys the results. What an awesome day. It's fair to say that 30 meters is no match for these Barracuda matches. Pardon the pun. At 880 feet per second, one holing, absolutely one holing. The C2C there is less than a millimeter. The same effect on the 870 where I had one flyer, that could have been me. But at 850, again, five shots, one hole. I absolutely love them. Now, for, it's getting more difficult for me to decide which palette must I use in my FX. It's getting so darn difficult. But wait, there's more. I still have to shoot the JSBs in 15.89 grain. Right, this brings us to the last of our accuracy pallets before we move on to the hunting pallets. And this is going to be the JSBs Jumbo Diablos at 15.89. So they're going to run slightly faster than the other babies. Here it goes. Quite interesting. I'll give you guys the speeds and everything just now, but time to go and measure up. But that was pretty decent. And my good day just keeps on going. Lacquer man, lacquer. There on target number one at 821 feet, the last shot there was me. I just had to double check my crony speed because it didn't measure accurately. So that's a one holer at 820 feet per second. 836 not too bad but we'll look at that 880 954 and even at 960 feet per second one holding touching each other that's the type of groupings you want to see at 30 meters ah oh, come on guys this wasn't even a match for any of these pallets time for me yes you guessed it i need to take them out to 50 meters and beyond so let's wrap this up by giving you the ultimate speed or the best speed in every group and then also what speed you need to look out for. So if we look at the JSBs in 18 grains, the best grouping was at 915 feet per second, but you can basically shoot these pallets anywhere between 805 and 915 feet per second. The Barracuda 18s had their best grouping at 827 feet per second, but effectively you can shoot them anywhere between 827 and 921 feet per second. You will not be disappointed there. The battle was too close to call, but on the day, the Air Arms had the best 5 shot grouping I've ever shot. So, if we look at that, at 900 feet per second, that was the best grouping. But again, the average range between 856 feet per second and 912 feet per second. That is the sweet spot out of my gun. The Barracuda matches had a very surprising and startling result. Even from 750 feet per second all the way up to 880, almost one holing across that whole range. That was the most pleasant surprise i could get on the day well done matches well done 
I wasn't expecting the 15 grainers to group so well at the higher speeds, but they absolutely loved it. At 954 feet per second, the best grouping, wow, just simply amazing. All the way from 880 feet per second up to 960 feet per second. Well done, booties. There you have it, the best speed for each of these pallets. Go and try it, post your results. I would love to see them. Have a lucky day. That's all, folks.